Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find the value of this nice expression. So the given expression is square root of 4 plus square root of 4 minus square root of 4 plus square root of 4 minus square root of 4 and so on till infinity. So you can see that this is a repeating pattern, right? So we need to figure out the value of this expression. And before we proceed to the solution, if you like my content, kindly do subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, let us proceed to the solution now. So let me take this whole value as x. Okay, I'm going to assign this value to x. So this is equal to x. Now we have this inner part, right? That is the square root of 4 minus square root of 4 plus square root of 4 minus square root of 4. I'm going to take that value separately. I'm going to assign that as y. Okay, so I have already copied that value. So let me take this inner part here. I'm going to take this inner part and I'm going to assign this one as y. So let this be equal to y. Okay. Now let me take this one as equation number one and this one as equation number two. Okay. Let us go to the first expression. Now let us just substitute this uh, expression 2 in expression 1 and see what we get. So we have x equal to square root of 4 plus this part that is the part which is after 4 plus is nothing but y isn't it. So we can just put it as y. So we get one equation here. Let's try to simplify this equation by squaring on both sides. So if you square on both sides you get x square equal to 4 plus y. Okay, so this is a nice expression and we will bring y to the left side so that we get x square minus y equal to 4. Okay, let this be equation number 3 here. Now let's go to the equation number 2 and see what we can do here. So we have y equal to square root of 4 minus square root of 4 plus square root of 4 minus square root of 4. So you can see that this part over here. Right? This part which I am highlighting is nothing but x, isn't it? It's equation number 1. So we can just substitute there as x. So let's do that. So we can say that y is equal to square root of 4 minus that part will be x. Okay. Now let's go on and square on both sides once again. So that we get y square is equal to 4 minus x. Let me bring this minus x to the left side so that we have y square plus x is equal to 4. This is equal to equation number 4. So we have a system of equation now, right? So we have two equations and our goal is to find out the value of x. Okay, let's see how we can solve these equations efficiently. You can see that in equation number 3, x square minus y is equal to 4. In equation number 4, y square plus x is equal to 4. So you can see x square minus y and y square plus x both are equal to 4 which means they are equal to each other. So let's set them equal to each other. So we can have x square minus y is equal to y square plus x. Now I'm going to bring this y square to the left side and minus y to the right side. So let us see what we get now. So we get x square minus y square equal to x plus y. Now using the algebraic identity x square minus y square can be written as x plus y times x minus y equal to x plus y. So as you can see on both sides maybe we can cancel out this x plus y and x plus y. But some of you might ask me okay we cannot cancel like that we might miss out some solutions over there. Okay and what if x plus y is equal to 0 then we will get 0 by 0 case right. But here I can assure you that x and uh, x plus y is not equal to 0. Okay, why x plus y not equal to 0? Let us see that. Okay, I'm going to claim that x plus y is not equal to 0 because x is nothing but square root of 4 plus y, right? And you can easily see that this number is a number which is definitely greater than 0, isn't it? It's a positive number. This is positive number. Similarly, y is equal to square root of 4 minus x. So this also will be a positive number. So sum of two positive numbers is always greater than 0. It's not equal to 0. So we can safely cancel out x plus y on both sides so that we have x minus y equal to 1. Okay, on the left side, on the right side, it's just 1. From here, I want to calculate what is y. 
So from here we can say that y is equal to x minus 1, right? So we took y to the right side and 1 to the left side. So y is equal to x minus 1. Let me take it as equation number 5 here. Now I'm going to substitute this equation number 5 in any one of the equation, either equation number 3 or 4. Okay, you can take any one of them. Maybe we can take equation number 3, right? I guess that will be better. So equation number 3 is x square is equal to 4 plus y. I'm going to use that equation now. Okay, so let's take that equation x square equal to 4 plus y. Let us substitute y in the place of y here so that we get a new equation now that is x square equal to 4 plus x minus 1. Now 4 minus 1 is 3 so that we have x square equal to x plus 3. Let's bring all the terms to the left side so that we have x square minus x minus 3 equal to 0. This is a nice quadratic equation which we can easily solve by using the quadratic formula. Okay, so I hope all of you know the formula, right? So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here a, b, c are nothing but the coefficients of x square, x and the constant terms respectively. Okay, so as you can see here, the value of a is 1, right? and the value of b is negative 1 and the value of c is minus 3. Let us substitute these values in this equation and see what we get for x. So x will be equal to minus b that is minus of minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b square is minus 1 the whole square minus 4 times 1 times 3. Okay, I mean it's a negative 3, right? So it should be minus 3. Okay, yes divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 1 so x will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 1 the whole square is nothing but 1 and here minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12 divided by 2 so we get the value of x as 1 plus or minus square root of 13 by 2 but do we have to take both plus and minus values here uh, the answer for that question is no because you can see that x in the beginning okay x was the expression right the expression that was there under the square root and it has to be a positive value okay it has to be a positive value isn't it so we can ignore the minus sign because you can see root 13 is greater than 1 so if you take minus sign you will get a negative value for x so we'll just take the positive value which means x will be equal to 1 plus root 13 by this is the answer for the question which means the value of this uh, repeating pattern that was there right so the value of this expression will be 1 plus root 13 divided by 2 okay so that's it i hope all of you enjoyed the video for such videos kindly subscribe to my channels and like this video i will see you all in the next video